Can you see me? Because yeah. I can't see you. I cannot. Well, I know what you're thinking. You think I'm here to sell you some pills. <laughs> Actually, I was arrested in this stage in 2013 selling pills. <laughs> the domain came to say, hey, fuck off, mate. This is not the right time. Anyway, I don't, I don't have anything tonight, actually, to tell you. Yeah, come here. <laughs> But uh, I'm, I'm just worried about the weather outside, it's raining, right? It reminds me when I was in Africa, I used to watch you guys shove in the snow. <laughs> I thought, what the fuck of West of Cocaine? <laughs> you were too mean on him. Now I'm here and I take cocaine. <laughs> Not tonight though. Come by for me. Shut the fuck up, I'm doing something here. <laughs> come here, come here. Is it okay if I speak? Thank you. It's not for free, five pounds for you, 20 pounds. What's that, my energy now? I don't know what I'm fucking doing here. I just speak. Thank you. Go back to your country. This is what I heard uh, uh, two years ago. When I, English is not my first language, by the way. Uh, so when I heard that UK was leaving Europe, I thought, fuck you guys, I fuck up to Africa. <laughs> so I have to call my mother. But you can't scared, I was like, mom, 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 is my room still available? She said, yes, son, are you coming home? I said, no, I'm not coming home. I said, why? I'm like, there's so many refugees coming from Scotland. <laughs> Them. Because we are not assholes and we are not refugees, we are humans. So I, know I wrote something else, you can tell. I, used to, I live in Scotland now, so I drink too much, by the way. Um, one time I get so drunk, I went home, and my girlfriend, by that time, she said to me, What did you have in the bar? I said, I had a white Russian. And she left me. Is <laughs> okay? Because I didn't know there was a black Russian in the bar. <laughs> well, English, me and my ex is not the same thing. Uh, I didn't write anything this year, actually. I have no jokes for you until you can look at me and start laughing. <laughs> Which is you do. Thank you. I know, I know uh, some of you always ask me, why did I choose to come to Scotland? Do you want to know why? Um, not because of the weather, of course. Uh, <laughs> of course not. Um, I know no one can believe me, but it's true. Mandela came to my school years ago. Can you shut the fuck up, please? I am a... go on, go on. You must be a black person, right? Because <laughs> I can't see the light when you're fucking killing me. So all of you look at me now. Thank you. So, yes, uh, I've always been asked why you come to Scotland. I said to you, I tell you guys, you know, I, I've been asked. Mandela came to my school, right? And he said to me, what are you going to do when you finish college? I thought, fuck. If I have to tell him I want to be a president, that means I have to go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> so I look him in the eye. I say, sir, when I finish college, I want to be a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that is a good idea. Because me, I was a pimp in prison. But for you, Go to Scotland. That's where the future is. Look at my future now. 
I stand in front of idiots. <laughs> and Mandela died. I can't get to him. <laughs> what I'm going to end up uh, saying this, guys. I uh, know I live in a very beautiful place in, in, in Glasgow. Do you know uh, Castle Rock? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful place. Because I don't have to pay for TV lessons. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not on TV. <laughs> So now the BBC has found out that I don't pay TV lessons. They, they came to my house. They said, Mr. Glover, our secret shows that you don't pay TV lessons. I said, yes, come. Come to my house. They get in the house. They're like, oh my God. Are you still watching black and white television? I said, yes, because I'm not racist. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't change my car on your fucking remote. <laughs> well, uh, my brother, uh, he called me yesterday because of the weather situation, especially in Scotland, and said, Minico, uh, Africa is in the drought, man. We have been praying for years and years. There's no rain. What do you think it is? I said to him, listen, bro, stop praying in English. Pray in your language. Because when God is here, you pray in English, send the rain in Scotland. <laughs> So you guys should be thanking Africans for praying for you. <laughs> you should. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't have any drugs left, so I'm going to leave you with one joke. <coughs> it's not a joke, it's a true story. I used to live in London years ago, and I had a friend of mine called Kate. She said, look, I'm, I'm inviting for dinner tonight. I said, yes, I'm going to starve myself to death. <laughs> And then she called back. Nico, we are telling you to call you to let you know that tea will be ready at 8. I'm thinking, fuck tea, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> then I said, Kat, I don't think I will come for dinner tonight because tea. She said, fuck you, man, your typical African tea is dinner. So I went. Dinner was lovely. I get so drunk, man. I fucked up more than to that. Really smashed up. When I mean smashed out, I couldn't walk. She said, son, I'm not going to let you walk in this dead, so I'm going to call you a black cab. <laughs> I said, I trust those ones. <laughs> <laughs> and the cab arrived. I look at the cab. Oh, oh, you guys finished the joke yourselves. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>